Welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Today I will discuss different elements of simple curve along with its derivation like tangent length, length of chord, length of curve, apex distance or external distance and mid ordinate or worst sign of curve. Let's get started. The triangle BT1 T2 is an isosceles triangle and therefore the angle B T1 T2 is equal to the angle B T2 T1 that is equal to pi divided by 2. The summation of angle T1 B T2 plus angle B dash B T2 is equal to 180 degree. The angle of intersection plus deflection angle is equal to 180 degree. Angle T1 O T2 is equal to pi that is equal to 180 degree minus intersection angle. Now how to find out the tangent length BT1 and BT2? Consider the triangle T1OB. Take the tangent of angle pi by 2 that will be equal to perpendicular that is BT1 divided by base. Base is OT1. BT1 will be equal to OT1 multiply tangent pi by 2. So BT1 is equal to BT2 that is equal to OT is equal to the radius of the curve that is equal to r multiply tangent pi by 2. So the equation for the tangent length is equal to r tangent pi by 2. Now how to find out the length of curve? Consider the triangle T1OE and take the sine of pi by 2 that is equal to perpendicular that is T1E divided by hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is OT1. Now find out the T1E that is equal to OT1 multiply sine pi by 2. T1E is equal to R sine of pi by 2 because OT1 is equal to the radius of the curve. Multiply the T1E with 2 to get the total length of curve. Length will be equal to 2 time of T1E that is equal to 2R multiply sine of pi by 2. How to find out the length of curve? The length is equal to length of arc T1 F T2. For that consider a portion of an arc and use the relation the length of arc S is equal to R time the angle theta. L is equal to R time of theta and radian. Multiply it with pi divided by 180 to change its to degree. The length of the curve is equal to pi time the radius of a curve time deflection angle divided by 180. Or you may derive this relation by using the similarity of a circle of an arc by L divided by 2 pi r is equal to pi divided by 360. So find out the length of arc L is equal to 2 pi r and 2 pi divided by 360. Simplify the equation pi r and 2 deflection angle divided by 180. Apex distance or external distance that is BF. BF is equal to b o minus o f in triangle o t 1 b cos of pi by 2 is equal to o t 1 divided by b o finding the value of b o is equal to o t 1 divided by cos of pi by 2 o t 1 is equal to r and the reciprocal of cos of pi by 2 is secant pi by 2 so b o is equal to r secant pi by 2 by putting the value of b o in the equation bf is equal to r secant pi by 2 minus r take r is a common bf is equal to r secant pi by 2 minus 1 so bf is equal to r the reciprocal of secant is 1 over cos of pi by 2 minus 1 mid ordinate or worst sign of curve that is ef ef is equal to of minus oe consider the triangle t1 oe cos of pi by 2 is equal to oe divided by ot1 oe will be equal to ot1 cos of pi by 2 ot1 is equal to the radius of the curve so oe is equal to r cos of pi by 2 putting the values in this equation ef is equal to r minus r cos of pi by 2 take r is a common ef will be equal to r and 2 1 minus cos of pi by 2 thanks for watching for more information and interesting topics related to civil engineering, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon.